Okay, so you finished up making the trace of the logo that you were going to use. Um, and for this assignment, what I want you to do is we're actually going to take this, we're going to move it away from this layer, and you're going to end up making kind of a, a different looking picture that you're going to turn into me um, with all the stuff that you've done with the vector. So here's what I need you to do. You are going to go in, and so we're going to go to, um, we're actually going to go up to image, and then we're going to go to canvas size. We're going to make it so we have a larger area to kind of draw on, um, if you will. So I'm going to take this, um, and in this case, I'm going to double the height. So right now my height's 17 inches. Let's go ahead and make that. Um, what's that going to be? Uh, 38. Okay. Oh, 38. 34. Okay. So I got 34 inches now. Um, so I click OK. Now I've got twice the amount of space. Um, and this background layer, this is going to drive me nuts. I should have switched my background layer color before I did this, but I'm just going to paint this so that it's going to be uh, solid white so that way I can see everything that I'm doing. So I'll grab the paint bucket tool, switch my black and white colors, switch on that so that way I've got white in my foreground color, kick on a brand new layer, and then I'm going to select everything so it's white, move that down to the very bottom, voila. Okay, now I have this picture where I can have the logo that I originally traced and then uh, uh, my completed version below it. So I'm going to take my layer one, which was the picture that I started with. And I'm gonna go ahead and scoot that up to the top. Okay, I hold shift when I do it, so I move it just straight up. And I'm gonna take my shape that I created, and then I'm going to click and hold on that, I'm holding shift, and then I'm gonna drag down. Okay, so now I've got these like two copies of it, right? And we're gonna do some adjustments on it. So um, first, let's go ahead and bring the layer opacity up to 100. Um, so if I go ahead and type in like 10, then it's going to make it 100, or I can click on this little slider, make it 100 over there. Once I've done that, um, I want you to go through and we're going to add in some adjustment layers, okay? Or not adjustment layers, sorry, blending options. So you're going to right click on the shape. We're going to go to uh, blending options, and then we're just going to kind of have some fun with it. So there's all these options that you can put in. <coughs> we're going to go ahead and do this. Um, you can explore, okay, see kind of what's going on there, um, but we can play with all of them. So, um, like let's say if I go to Bevel and Emboss, it's going to kind of make it look in 3D a little bit. But make sure that you can turn on the checkbox, but you have to click on the actual text to make it so that you have an adjustment that you can make. So, um, I can choose like inner bevel and all this stuff here, okay. Let's say I just pick a random one, and then I can change like the depth, and that has its own look, okay. I could do stroke, and or I could do inner bevel, okay. Um, I could do something like that. All right, I could add in like a, uh, I could do a pattern overlay and then switch the pattern instead of bubbles. Um, there's like some other like random stuff that I could do here. So wait, kind of looks like 3D. Um, but then you could also uh, on this one, I can click on this little gear icon right here and I can switch to some other like options. So I've got, uh, I don't know, erodible textures, uh, then click append. Uh, and then you can see there's like all this different stuff and then you can change its scale and that changes the way that this logo looks. Um, I could add in an outer glow if I wanted to. I'm going to switch the blend mode from screen to normal um, and then let's change a color. Uh, I don't know, let's go with blue and then I'll increase the size, okay? And that way it'll kind of glow. Um, and then I can also go through and pick some other options. So let's say I chose like inner shadow, then I could do that and switch it from multiply to normal and bring up my opacity, change the distance uh, and change like the, the size so it kind of like blends in a little bit. I don't know. Just come up with your own effect. There's a million different like tutorials and things like that you can find that will make some really cool looking um, options, but this way you can just kind of see a little bit what's there and explore. Okay, so your completed project should look something like this, where you have the shape that you traced out, and then you have all these extra effects that you've added onto it using your blending options. And then once you've done that, you can save this, turn it in. I want to see the original and the one that you modified next to it. And that's it.